Hi guys, welcome to this session in LibreOffice Calc. In this module, I want to show you how you can use the SUMIF function to summarize data. So on the left, I have a table of data with some sales figures and people's names, which are repeated down this list. What I want is the SUMIF function to tell me what each of these people have made in terms of sales. So I'll do the first one equals sum if open the bracket so i'm highlighting the list of names doing a comma clicking on the criteria i want it to look for in this first case it's steve comma so when i find steve down this first column column a i want to add up the sales that are applicable to steve the two heights of the list have to be the same height when you tick that, you get the score there, which is not in pounds. Um, I'll just click on that and then widen it a little bit. So that worked okay, but when I go to pull that across, I'm just getting a zero because it's moving the cell references across from column A to B and then column C to D. So what I'm going to do is basically going to name that column. I'll call that name and I'll call that sales and then I'll change this formula so it's not looking at A2 to A2 so I'll just change that to sales so look down sa not sales get it right name so look at name and when you find What's in cell F1? I want you to add up sales. Get rid of all that other stuff. Take that. Now I will better pull that across. And it will work out each one for me like so. Just need to widen these columns. So basically, I could have used dollar signs but I prefer to use names because I think it's easier for people to understand. So that's just a, a very short video of how you can use the SUMIF function to pull off summarized data from a list and how that would work better if you use named ranges rather than dollar signing formulas. Nothing wrong with dollar signing. It just looks a little bit more involved than it actually is. Some people get put off when they see dollar signs in a formula. But hopefully that was of use. And if so, I'll thank you for your time and I'll catch you on the next one.